I knew of all, in fact, you have uh, chronicled um, a few of the uh, scandals. But if you really want to, I know you've done that because we don't have a lot of time. But if you really want to go into it, then you see more of such corruption scandals in this regime compared to the uh, previous one. And I'm saying these scandals plus what is done about them, plus the posturing and utterances of official about them, all feed into the generation of the figures and statistics for our corruption perception indices. And it was because of that that I tried to lump all of them together and ask that you do a simple side-by-side -side comparison of the various CPIs by, by under the two regions. And it is a clear case of day and light. You are telling me that there is no corruption scandal in this particular regime that should necessitate the prosecution and the jailing of anyone. Abu Ghapili was jailed by his own um, gap. And you think that we can find some in this regime. All these are the kinds of things that feed. The, the president says due process. Come. Due process must be followed. That's what the president says. Oh, due process. Yeah, but we cannot follow due processes in perpetuity. We cannot follow due processes if you give an a priori clearance of people who are expected to go through due process. I'm using the Cecilia Dapa case as an example again, that given the tone, given, given the utterance of the president around the time that the woman had not gone through any process, we all knew that it was not going to end anywhere. And today, here we are, with the case. And so, don't behind the scenes um, stampede the process and publicly come and tell us that you believe in due processes. He was the one who said that he was going to use the ANAS principle in fighting corruption. Even though I disagree with that principle, what is the stake of his usage of that principle? in a fight against corruption. So please, I, I think that, like I said, he was given a flowery speech to go and read to a certain audience that um, I have described as psychopathic. And he knew that, well, these guys, they would end up even applauding me. That's why he went to see that. But he couldn't have read the statement to you guys in the media. He wouldn't have done that to uh, an assemblage of critical minds, or, uh, or assembly, an assemblage of critical minds, he wouldn't have done that in, you know, in the in the midst of academics. He wouldn't have done that. So please, right. Um, I, I think that for me, if you say we should compare, it creates an impression that we are not clear even in our minds as to uh, uh, who has done what and who didn't do what. Please. We know what is happening. For this particular regime, we are telling us that in spite of all the scandals, everybody is okay. No problem. I think at the end of the day, the good people of Ghana, they are watching and they know what the realities of the situation, you know, are. All and right. It doesn't lie in the mouth of any executive president who has been given a speech to go away to come and tell us that he has done better um, yeah, I've been fighting corruption than any, anybody. Corruption is corruption. We were not so happy with what was happening or in the NBC's regime. That was why we felt that, look, we should kick out that regime right. for a better regime. Right. And it appears that we have sold our color television to go and buy black and white.